um, I've just had a phone call while on my dog walk um, from the nurse who's going to be taking plasma. I'm not saying I'm phobic about it, but as I talk to her, I very nearly burst into tears because I am so scared. I've never donated blood. I've only had blood tests before. And now I'm going to be going through donating plasma because they think if I've got, um, if I've got the antibodies for COVID in my plasma, that's what they'll use on people who are ill with it. I remind myself when I'm there on Sunday that it's not all about me. I'm going to be filming myself if I don't pass out. I'm saving the world. I'm doing this for you, Bryn. Just told wife about uh, having the chat with the nurse and all the things going through it and how I've been really scared by it and upset by it and she can't come with me because of the whole situation. So, you know, and all the things that go through and all the possible side effects and all that. And she pissed herself. I've been looking at the video from two days ago and realised I'm wearing the same old smelly shirt. That's what lockdown does, isn't it? It's the day before my uh, blood plasma extravaganza and I haven't slept well now for two nights. It's the idea of having a needle put in and then blood sucked out of your body like a vampire. Something just draining the life from you. That really gets me. So tomorrow is about my worst nightmare ever. I'm trying to listen to lots of um, Eckhart Tolle, who's kind of, or Tolle, Eckhart Tolle. He's a guru. He's, he's, he's all about um, getting out of your mind, not on drugs, getting, removing your mind from the process and just being present in the situation and knowing that you will deal with it and stop making a problem bigger by thinking it into a big crisis like I could do. Because I know I can sit there in a chair give blood, plasma. He goes into a machine, it's extraordinary, he goes into a machine and it siphons off the plasma, then siphons off the blood, and then it pumps the blood back into your body. And it's all a machine. And the thing is, what if that machine goes wrong? They, they are looking for people, because I said I've never had a test for COVID-19. I just am pretty definitely sure I've had it. They're gonna be working on people who've been tested for COVID-19 first, and so they definitely knew. But obviously they're short of donors, because they're using people who have not had a definite positive test, but are just likely to have it, and just to have some, probably to get some free blood and plasma anyway from people who don't usually donate, like me. If I survive, I think it's a good advert, because however tough it is, it's gonna help people. And I'm just an incredibly nice person. I've got to stop pretending. I'm one of the most thoughtless, selfish people in the world, and this is my shot at redemption. Just running through the things that could go wrong. My body, independently isn't like anybody else's is this is this is basically from a kid who was brought up to middle class with people going you're special you're different well we know the human body no you don't know how's body if you take blood from my body i will immediately die if you take large amounts I will immediately, all my, all my organs will shut down because that's Hal's body and Hal's body's just different to everybody else's. I mean, my knees are different to it. I don't want to bring up my knees again. I always bring up my knees when anything medical happens. But I don't have normal knees, so maybe I don't have a normal body. So maybe, you know, I'm the first person I've ever met who, you know, when they give blood, their whole body re re panics and just kills itself. The other panic is that um, I happen to choose the day when the person in charge of the machines um, the psychopaths on on duty and they just need to kill and so they keep the machine running till i die i'll think up some more as i go along got to sleep about three woke up some thirty of it four and a half hours sleep all the panic is in the mind and the reality is i'm just gonna go and let somebody take some blood the issue i'm taking is i'm worrying about donating blood plasma and that's a massive worry that meant that i've lost sleep last night and maybe that's a nice little way of reminding yourself if that's your biggest worry, you've not got many problems. Bear thinks I'm a dick, I reckon. Don't you, Bear? Change the following statement. Can't believe you're listening to I'm this. I'm never upset for the reason, I think. This is, uh, yes, I can't tell her. Falling it's below wisdom. and I'm just articulating to Dawn. I'm driving, see, I'm driving does calm me. I'm just articulating this storm, my various panics. What is it you're going to piss yourself? I'm worried I'm going to piss myself. No, I'm worried I'm going to cry, first of all, because I feel like crying now. The only way a man's allowed to cry at my age is when you go, oh, the old days, and you're nostalgic, and you talk about something like that, or you're, you know, your child achieves something, you go, I'm so proud. You are not allowed to cry just because you're so frightened. Unless, well, if you're a soldier at war or something, you could. Then I'm worried about passing out, which I don't do easily. Well, you're in the right place if you do pass out. Yeah, but I'm also worried of passing out and pissing myself, because I've never passed out that I know of. And I don't know if you, I, I just am going to piss myself. Well, you're in a hospital, they've dealt with it before, Jesus Christ. Nearly went through a red light there, sorry.
And also the fact that my undies on, that I'm not wearing good undies. Well, if you'd put away your laundry like I told you to. I know, I know, I know. I had ones with the elastic going on them, or the ones that are slightly too tight. I'm, I'm sort of hoping something might get me out of it. I'm sort of hoping the car breaks down. Go on. Something must go wrong. Look, we're short of water in the windscreen wiper door, so we maybe should yeah, stop. Yeah, but we've got a full bottle of we water maybe, for drinking. Maybe should stop and turn home. I'm worried my body's going to get scared. And there's another presence where it just panics and everything shuts down in panic. Just goes, well, bleeding to death. And so prematurely, the heart, the lungs, and everything just gives up. It's plasma, so they're going to be taking it out of you. But the body and doesn't know that. And then they're putting that. the blood back in. But, but the body will know the blood's going back in. No, but it won't know it immediately. They take it out, first of all, so the body's going, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding to death. How does the body know it's going to be okay? It doesn't. If we know people go, yeah, your body keeps on going, keeps on fighting to the end. I'm worried my body will give up early and might go into panic mode. That's really. kind of like you when you go to the rugby. Yes, you know, exactly you, like you me think, in the rugby. Oh, that's it, I might as well leave. We're, we're gonna lose, points, we're gonna lose. 10 points down at half time, I'm going, it's over, it's over. And I worry that that's seeped into every part of my body. So that my heart and my lungs and my whatever you have, everything just goes, oh, game over. Game over, man, game over uh, from aliens. I cannot just shut, like Eckhart Thomas says, just to shut that mind down and just be present. And we're only a mile away from the donor center. If I walk away from this, I won't be able to live with myself, but I might go in there and then not be able to live. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, God. I, I bought these to amuse you, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell your fortune and um, tell you what's gonna happen. Like death, death, you, death, you, death, <laughs> death. Do you want... Oh, it's death, but death doesn't mean death. Okay. Pick, pick a card. It's a man with a headless corpse. <laughs> Actually, look, look at the head. That is you. Look, it's got a beard and hair that's too long Insane. and she is holding a sword that looks like a needle a long needle and basically if you've got a brunette nurse when you get in there you're in the shit mate okay pick another card okay it's the king of clubs you are the king of clubs Hal yeah it's king of clubs. comedy clubs and look look you're a warrior and it's got a little belly and yeah, a camp and way look, of standing he's also holding a big long um tube that that carries plasma. In the corner here mm. is a scorpion. It's not a scorpion, it's a lobster, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I oh, it's, it's a, scorpion. a scorpion, sorry it is. Sorry. So that means you have to beware of the sting in its tail because that injects you with stuff. Oh. Come on, one more. <sighs> right, here we have, oh, it was upside down, keep it upside down. That was the one, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The 10 of hearts, very lonely looking man. He's written his will. He's just sitting with his will there. And there's no leaves on the trees anymore. Everything around him's dead. And it was inverted, it was upside down. Which means difficulties and worries. It's worries, great. that's because you're worried. You are worried about the nurse with the big long needle cutting, the cutting off. off your head. Uh, brilliant, Dawn, brilliant. Thank you. Blood is essential. No, but the, you're getting the blood back. It's not um, with, Without the plasma. You know, that's replaced. It's just, it's just, plasma's just the carrier for the blood. It's like when I make gravy and then, you know, you take the fat out, but you keep all the nice gravy bits. Mm -hmm. You know, the way it separates in a jug. You're just taking the watery milk bit and you're getting to keep all the cream. You're not going to die. I know, I know. And I'm trying to help other people who might. Exactly. Does that make you feel better? No. <laughs> in the loo and they're all being so nice. I've just had the blood prick on my finger to test my blood and even that hurt. I'll get through this, we will get through this. It's about to start. How scared do I look? It's, it's a little bit like being on a gurney about to face execution. <laughs> and it's nothing, it's very different, it's a good thing. I'm actually on now and still alive at the moment, listening to uh, Dan Snow's History Hits on the podcast. Um, this might forever ruin the Habsburgs for me. It's very relaxed and they're chatting to me a lot but there's a lot of jolly chat knowing that there's a, do a potential collapser in the corner. There's the machine and there you can see the plasma is the little yellow stuff and it's like it's, it's like you I can't fill me on. This is the whirring machine that is taking the blood out, separating it and hopefully when it reaches a certain level it knows when to stop. It's fine, it's fine, I'm surviving. Yeah. And they're very, very nice. Okay, that's what's now missing from my body. Oh my god. Back in the car now, having survived. Karen at reception knew me. 
she said she was very excited when she saw my name. So basically, I'm, you know, I'm of that Z-list celeb that I'm thrilled if people recognise me. So other nurses were going, oh, you know, we, we probably one thought you were Mr. They? Tumble. You were there to entertain the children. I wasn't too much of a prima donna, um, but I, looking back, Lindsay did a lot of chatting to me, so I think they were worried. It is really good to get over your fears, I suppose. Does that mean you can do it again? Yeah, I would do it again. Really? Well, I would do it again just now, and I know I don't have to do it again for a while. I've got a present for you to okay. say well done. Just made that in the car for you now. It says, I'm a big, brave boy. I made a plasma donation today. Be nice. Okay, that's your wee medal. I've no lollipops, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, can't put that one. I'm not hard to drive. Sorry, oh, way out there. Sorry. Jesus. I just, sorry, sorry, sorry. I feel absolutely... Uh, I do feel absolutely fine, actually. Uh, the seats are lovely, by the way. They have lovely little, like, loungers. You but, want one for the basement, like, so you can yeah, watch the telly. Yeah, they're perfect telly things. And, and so you, you can know. be lying in the basement, watch the telly. Yeah. And we can set up a little pump to, so you can continue giving blood yeah. and plasma while you watch shit on TV. No, I think, I think they'll remember me at Edgeware Donation Set Donating Centre. Um, oh! Is that KFC open? I do feel good. I do feel good to have done something I was scared of, but also you do realise that you, you have a sense, slight sense of shame over realising how small it is and that it's your mind. Because all I went in there was a slight discomfort with somebody sticking a needle in your arm and it's all fighting what's in your mind. You, you feel a little bit like that was a bit of a fuss about nothing, but that's sort of the story of my life. <laughs> Everything in my life, I tend to end today and go, I was very worried about that, that went okay. If you're that sort of person, this is one another of those instances, it's... Yeah, if you're the sort of person that can sit down for a meal without needing help deciding, should I have brown sauce or ketchup? I mean, that, that's you. No, that, that's not true, brown but sauce or ketchup. I'm actually yeah, always brown yeah, sauce. Even, um, oh, ketchup with certain think, foods. Do you think mustard would work with this? Do you think it would be okay? Will it I know, but this is still facing your fears. Because I think they're short of donors. So honestly, if you do, if you do think you've had this, see if you can do this because they actually do want people. Because they're, you know, and they take it for people who haven't definitely had a COVID test. A blood test will be nothing now. As I left, I did apologise to the guy in the seat next to me going, sorry if I was very chatty, and he didn't really go, that's okay. Yeah, and it's in his head, he's probably sitting there going... But he was just, he just smiled, but he smiled but probably thought, dick. Fuck you. I wasn't Fuck being loud, I wasn't... Peace and quiet. I'm not in the corner of the room loudly chatting, I'm just chatting quite quietly to the nurse going, oh yeah, and he probably just thought, yes, such a... F it was like being the sad new kid at school that was a bit Parker. of a dick. His ears um, are probably still ringing and he's going to think it's I was some kind not... of side effect of giving plasma that your ears come out and they're ringing. I was not... Tell me this, did you tell anyone in that room about your knees? No, actually. Did, they, did you mention them? Oh, all? yes. So they wanted to know about previous operations, Dawn. So, so I didn't get that. About your names. I, do, I, don't, I still don't think I'd fancy a vampire movie. I think we should watch one tonight just for a laugh. My laugh, not yours. I have been slightly tense the past few days, and some people have picked it up because ever since I got back from the donation place, this one's been a bit all over me. I don't mean Dawn, I mean the dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not Dawn, but the dog. You okay, Bear? Yeah, what was disappointing, Dawn, was that after all that, I didn't get the big line up and all the nurses clapping and the staff clapping as you leave, left. They were the probably cheering in their hearts. So that's all there is now. I've taken the plaster off, but uh, to the truth, still, that still makes me feel pretty queasy. Sorry if that's making anybody else go. Ugh.